as District Attorney Steve Mulroy says Govan asked for young Dolph to be murdered. Mr. Govan has been indicted and is in custody for being involved in the young Dolph murder. Um, he played the role of the person who solicited the murder. If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me. As y'all can see, right? Hernandez Govan, better known as Orange Mound Quet, is switching his attorneys. And I believe that this right here, a lot of people don't understand the seriousness of what just happened. We, I'm, listen, anybody that, that believes that uh, the Young Dolph case is, is you know, a slam dunk, uh, they already convicted, they might as well forget about it, they going to jail forever, hold on, we listen y'all, we got to pump the brakes right now, and let me explain to you why, did y'all hear the attorney that they said he just had, they said that he got Manny Aurora. How do y'all like, hey, hood educated, man. Uh, attorney is an attorney. Who is Manny Aurora? Listen, first thing we got to understand is this right here. Manny Aurora beats murders. He's a murder beater, right? And, and not only that, He's so cold with his, his legal analyst and he's so cold with his work ethic that high priced people pay him. They come looking for him. Like, you know, he ain't one of them attorneys where, you know, he chasing the Amber Lambs and all that. He ain't one of them attorneys that you give, you know, $20,000 to and then he run in the courtroom and the only thing he really trying to do is get you a deal. You know, no, this, this attorney, he want to beat the case. Check it out. Now, as y'all can see, right? How y'all think Lil Dirk beat that uh, first degree attempt to murder that he had with King Von? Who was the head attorney of that case? Manny Aurora. Now, understand some y'all. They had detectives saying that they seen Dirk hanging out the window, his hand. The, look, video footage of Lil Dirk shooting at the victim. Check it out. Driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Okay, y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? And Manny Aurora got Dirk off that case. Manny Aurora proved to the prosecuting attorney Hey, look, man, y'all ain't y'all ain't got enough evidence. What y'all think y'all got, that, that ain't what it is. And I'm talking about the case just magically disappeared. The prosecuting, uh, prosecuting attorney dropped the case. Listen, this man right here cold, y'all. This, this young Dolph case now, it's not finna be a walk in the park. So we gotta understand something now. This, look, things done changed. And not only that, though, this one thing that we got to pay real close attention to. As you've seen in that newspaper, uh, not the newspaper, but the news uh, 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 video that I showed y'all. What did they say? He's not even licensed to practice in Memphis, Tennessee. 
but that is still Orange Mound Quest attorney. So we gotta understand what gotta happen. He gotta come all the way to Tennessee and get sworn in by a judge, do all type of paperwork and stuff like that so they can make sure that his credentials is up and then he'll be legal to practice in the state of Tennessee. So what does that mean, hood educated? So what? That ain't nothing. Let me tell you what it means. Somebody got some money. Yeah. No, attorneys just don't do this. You got to have some paper. And not only that, this is like I said before. This right here is a, a high-powered, high-paying Attorney, this is not that poop butt stuff that we get and we go in there and get this man right here represents rappers and get them off the case. Orange Mount Quaid ain't no rapper. Uh where's Orange Mount Quaid getting all this money from? To to first to retain uh uh Manny Aurora to give him that bag. Here, here you go. Come and represent me. I can't practice in Tennessee. I'm, I'm an Atlanta attorney. Here you go. Come and represent me. Take this bag. Okay, I'm, I'll be flying to uh, Memphis, Tennessee to represent you. Yeah, I'm, I got to go through there and I got to get... You see what I'm saying? This man right here is, is jumping over hurdles to represent Orange Mound Quay. And this ain't no pro bono case or none of that. Come on now. This is Young Dolph we talking about. Where is Orange Mound Quet getting his money? For one, he's accused of paying them boys to kill Young Dolph. Where he get that money from? Now, he getting a high power lawyer. Where he getting his money from? Now, I already know I mean, according to, um, um, what's the brother name? The comedian down there, the uh, Paper Route Empire uh, comedian, Grove Hero. Y'all already know what he said. Y'all already know who he said was behind uh, Young Dolph's murder and who had that money on his head. Check it out. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see me go, if I see Youngstar, I'm going to get on that. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, nigga don't know that you put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying, boo? Nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that. Niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna, nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my just put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, nigga, man, come on, bro. bro. I couldn't hear that, bro. So now y'all see, come on now, I ain't gonna say it. Y'all gotta say it. Where he getting this money from to be paying this high-powered lawyer like this? And not only that, where is he getting this money from to have this high-powered lawyer leave his legal state where he where he represents everybody at, where he's licensed to practice, to go to a whole nother state to practice law in a whole different state, a whole different jurisdiction? This right here costs money, y'all. This ain't no chump change. This is not no chump change. Now, we got to understand something about the whole ordeal. Now, we know that Orange Mound Quet is with that Memphis mob down there. Now, this is what the streets is telling me. Orange Mound Quet is plugged in with Memphis mob. Now, being that he's plugged in with Memphis mob, Memphis mob, they've been beefing with PRE forever. Paper Route Empire, they've been beefing with them forever. And now, just speaking from a hood perspective, I don't believe that Memphis Mob got that type of money. I don't believe that Memphis Mob um, will be putting themselves in a position to even be touching Orange Mound quick. He too hot right now. We talking about hood stuff. They ain't finna be, man, come on, we finna. Uh-uh. This is somebody that's highly intelligent. 
that know the ropes, that know how to get around stuff so it won't come back to them. This is somebody that got a lot of money. And like I said, no disrespect to Memphis Mob down there. I know y'all probably doing y'all thing. Y'all got a bag and all that. But, hey, look, I just got to keep it hood educated, man. Like, I don't, come on now, we all from the hood. If you hot, you hot. We ain't touching you. That's just how it go. But whoever putting up all this money to get uh, Orange Mount Quet, that high-powered attorney, scared than a motherfucker. Yeah, they scared. And let me explain to you why. They understand that Orange Mount Quet, he know too much. He got too much information. So they got to give him the top notch. They got to they gotta come out their pockets and give him the top notch. You see what I'm saying? Because we got to understand something. If that was the case, out the gate, he would have had him out the gate, but he didn't have him. So he probably done got on the phone. Hey, man, look, this this attorney right here ain't, ain't uh-uh. I need something a little bit better than that. I need, I need some a little bit more high powered if, if I'm gonna get out. I'm not finna go down for this, you know what I'm saying, by myself. I'm not finna go down for this like that. You know what I mean? In order for somebody to say, hold on, no, we, we gotta put a bag up. We gotta put this major bag up and get him the proper representation. So, I mean, Everybody that, that believe that, yeah, you know, the Dolph case is a slam dunk. No, nah, uh-uh. We just seen what Manny Aurora can do. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this attorney right here ain't no slouch. He ain't no joke. So, uh, they got a fighting chance now. I don't, I don't know about uh, Justin, you know what I'm saying, or, or Cornbread. I don't know about them down there and what type of attorneys they got. But uh, Hernandez, Govan, Orange Mount Quet. He got a shot at the title now. I'm just saying. That's. I mean, look, I know Young Dolph fans, y'all going to be highly upset about that. But, man, we just got to keep it 100. Like, I'm talking about with this attorney that he got now, he got a fight shot. He got a chance. This is hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. Before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Let me give a shout out to Kwame King for the $1.99 cash app. Thank you. Let me give a shout out to uh, Rav Card Coins for the $2 uh, uh, cash app. I mean, super thanks. Thank you. And let me give a shout out to uh, Sherry President for the $5 cash app. Thank you, Sherry. Let me give a shout out to uh, David Q for the $25 cash app. Good looking, Dave. Let me give a shout out to Sherry Frazier for the $10 cash app. I really appreciate that, Sherry. And last but not least, let me give a shout out to the homeboy Lebo for the $2.05 cash app. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.